I wanted to go over all the different TDO4 heat shield variations in this video. On the far right is a 3000 GT heat shield. The middle heat shield is commonly found on the BMW M4, the Hyundai Genesis, and the Subaru, and may be found on other models. Each of these heat shields have to go with the matching bearing housing. The bearing housing on the left is found on a Volvo and may be found on other models. The turbine housing, such as the 3000 GT ones, can be machined out for two different heat shields. It can be left for the original heat shield and then it can also be machined for the Volvo one without disrupting the original heat shield. And it also can be machined for the Subaru heat shield, which was commonly done in the early days when people would buy Subaru turbos so that they could put them on the 3000 GTs. Now if you do the Volvo bearing housing, you may have to change up your oil feed fittings because I think the oil feed fittings are different. However, uh, the great thing about this and the reason why I did this in the first place was because it's sometimes really hard to get a bearing housing for the 3000 GTs. So at least I know that I can get replacement Volvo bearing housings and they're readily available so I can just use those and be able to fix the turbo without having to waste a lot of time of trying to track down another OEM bearing housing. The great thing about the Volvo bearing housing is that the heat shield's much wider and has a much better seat on the turbine housing. With the OEM 3000 GT heat shield, it really it gets bored out a lot where the heat shield sits, so there's not as much ground surface once it's machined out but it still is possible to use the original heat shield. You just have to be really careful with the placement. So these are the three different variations of TDO4 heat shields. If you thought this was helpful, then give this video a big thumbs up.